Hello, and welcome to the Mortal Kombat tier list. And today, I am really excited to do the tier list, and I just want to jump right into it to kind of start it off. I want to give a heads up to some people. Uh, this is very subjective, so, you know, I, if you don't like this game, more power to you. So, let's begin. Um, starting with Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1 did set the scene, and it was very primitive at the time, or, you know, it, get, it got more, more and more primitive because more and more characters and video games came up. Um, Mortal Kombat 1, it was alright. Like, it wasn't a, it, it wasn't the best game, but I could see what, why everybody was there for, it was for the fatalities, the characters were really nice. Um, I don't really have much to complain so far it's a decent game um very hard <laughs> if even if, when you put it on easy um most of the game uh you just kind of fight around like the endurance test usually people drop the drop the controller right there and depending on what mortal Kombat you use like the snes or the i believe it was the sega genesis it's right there um the game itself is pretty bland on the SNES, but the graphic wise is pretty good. Um, but Genesis is obviously the way to go. So I suggest Genesis or an emulator or even arcade one up. I think I've sponsored them way too much. I'm, I'm, I don't even get paid for it. Most of the time. <laughs> and we have Mortal Kombat 2. Now the reason why I put Mortal Kombat 1 in B is because this game comes out on top a lot. A lot of people do reference Mortal Kombat 2 a lot. I think it's a really good game. Uh, they add more fatalities, they add more friendships, uh, stage fatalities, babalities. Um, all in all, the game's really good, I think. Um, it is definitely a step up to Mortal Kombat 1. But there is one thing that doesn't make it S tier is because well, I mean, it's the same thing story-wise, or it's kind of the same thing with all these games, like, you know, good guy comes out on top, or the bad guy comes out on top, and then the good guy comes back. <laughs> so, but the character endings were nice, really fast, but um, if you have an emulator, you can obviously read them, and all that kind of stuff. So, let's move on. Mortal Kombat 3. Now, not a lot of people like Mortal Kombat 3, only because... It's very, it's another primitive, primitive game, even more primitive. I heard someone say uh, than Mortal Kombat. Um, Mortal Kombat Three, not a lot of people talk about. Usually, they usually talk about Ultimate because it comes with more characters. Usually, Mortal Kombat Three was like the standard edition of during that time. So, basically, Ultimate was. DLC and Trilogy was basically the whole thing crammed into one. Um, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time on the game. Um, it was very, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> Not much to say, um, but Ultimate, however, um, I really don't know if I should put it in A or B, because Ultimate is pretty good, but it's very overrated. A lot of people say uh, only because it's the most accessible so I'll put an A actually no I'll put that. nah I'll put an A um, again ultimate it's one of those games that just sticks out and isn't it's not bad in particular it but it's not very good like you still have the characters but it depends on which system you have same as trilogy the reason why I put Trilogy in B is because, well, you don't get all the characters, depending on which system you go for. Um, people do say that the Mortal Kombat on the SNES doesn't have too many characters, uh, or Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the SNES doesn't have that many characters, but also the N64 version doesn't have, like, one less character, so... I don't know what's the big deal of Trilogy. I think it's a, f a fine game on the consoles. 
And then you have, for some reason, it's, um, for some reason, Trilogy on the PlayStation is it's by itself, but I did play it, and I think that's how I got into it, when I played it on the first PlayStation. And I kind of have a huge bias with it. <laughs> um, the only reason why I put an S is because it includes everything. Like, you get every character, every boss character you could play as, um, including Shao Kahn, Goro, Kentaro, everybody. More maps, um, kind of reused skins, but I wouldn't mind it. But I think this is the best way to play all the 2D um, Mortal Kombat, at least from what I'm, uh, at least from here, you know. Uh, everything else is pretty good from here on out, so. Um, Mortal Kombat 4. Surprisingly, I do like this one. Um, it's kind of revolutionizing, or more of like a... Like a re revolved or like it, it's just a better version of like or more of a 3d because everybody everybody was going 3d i think and mortal kombat was in the bandwagon of like 3d fighting games and i think it was one of the fastest fighting games i've ever played um but they weren't trying to go for like tekken i think they were trying to go for more of like um like they were trying to do their own thing basically on uh, Mortal Kombat, so I, I do like Mortal Kombat 4. Um, it does go in A tier. I think it's very fun. Uh, Gold is up there too. Um, it's more of an expansion on the Dreamcast, I believe. I don't remember. Um, Gold just adds more characters and more of a cinematic scene. Mortal Kombat 4 was on um, the 64, I believe. I believe so. So, Mortal Kombat 4 is like 64. That one's a Dreamcast, I believe, because it has a CD, so there's full more motion stuff. Um, like, the cutscenes are better, I guess. <sighs> Mortal Kombat Sub- or Sub-Zero Mythologies. I wanted to like, but I just- I just couldn't. Um, the platforming is- it's garbage. Um, the, the game itself, I mean, the RPG mechanic, or the, like, spell ability mechanic was alright. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, a lot of the enemies, most of the time, the enemies were pretty overpowered. Sometimes they could accidentally, like, put you in a corner and, like, they could just spam, like, a move and you cannot get out. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it's kind of a good idea, I just don't like how it's presented, like, as a standalone fighting game for Sub-Zero. Because it, it the story's kind of cool, but, um, besides that, it, there's nothing much to it. Um, I don't think I'm going in order, by the way, so, um, I'm just kind of, I tried my best, but I don't really remember what game came out, so... Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Ooh. I mean, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance would get an A, but for now it gets a B. Mortal, again, Deadly Alliance was pretty good. Uh, the only thing that was like watering it down was um, the lack of like extra content. I mean, the crypt was pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, but for what the crypt is becoming later on is it it just kind of realizes how humble they were at the start of the crypt but um very grindy in my opinion um not much to the game i guess everybody has one fatality for some reason um i do like the engine too battle damage um the blood effects that's pretty cool everything's pretty good about the game. I like it. Okay. Uh, Deception. Ooh. I actually covered this recently. Um, hmm. I'll put an A. Only because it has more going for it than Deadly Alliance. Um, 
I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big fan of Deadly Alliance. Again, it's it's a good game. It's a good dis game to start off on, but I don't know. I think Deception's just more open to its game. So uh, the characters are pretty cool. I did like the conquest, but the story was kind of meh. Uh, what's really driving it from B to A is um, probably the lack the or not lack but um, a lot more content basically they had puzzle combat chess combat conquest crypt um, I think that's it I believe um, I, it just came with a lot more and besides the conquest being just a wall of text for deadly alliance um, Deception does come out on top to like make it more of an open world uh, Mortal Kombat, which I like. Um, it's kind of good to expand on worlds, but um, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. I believe this is Mortal Kombat Tournament. Could be wrong on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I don't know when what year this came out on. Um, but I remember playing it, not on the Game Boy Advance, but actually an emulator. I was going to do a video on it, but mm, I put in B. It, I mean, it's toe-to-toe -to -toe because of how um, similar it is, but I think it's the best way to play Mortal Kombat on the go, I think. It's really good. Um, I had a lot of fun. Actually, I put in like 10 hours in the game, which is kind of a long time <laughs> on a handheld device, so that says a lot. Uh, is it a good game to get? Sure, if you can find the Game Boy Advance and the cartridge. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I think so. Uh, Shaolin Monk. Do I really have to say anything? Like, how can you make <laughs> a Mortal Kombat game that's co-op? That is dope. Honestly. And the fact that it's two-player, and you don't only play as Kung Lao and Liu Kang. You play as more characters, I believe. I think you play as Noob, or when you're Sub-Zero and Sub-Zero. Um, I believe Reptile. It, it's just a fun game. I can't really explain it. I want you to go play it if you can ever get a copy or like emulate it. It's so good. If you have a friend, play it with him or her, whatever. Uh, the game's obviously nest here. So, and then we have not so much of a nest here. <laughs> We have more of a D tier, or an F tier, or maybe an L, because this one took a big one. Yeah, I just, I, I can't find anything good to say about this game. It really comes down to where you, you, make, you make an idea, and you try to make it come to life, and every time when you want to make it come to life, it just happens and then for some reason it's basically blindfold with darts at that point and special forces took a really weird approach to the games um i just don't i just don't like it the, the, like i played it and i've almost beat it i played it halfway through and i just didn't get to finish it and i don't even want to <laughs> It's just that bad of a game. I just don't like it. I don't recommend it. Armageddon. Oof. This one has to go to... Eh, it doesn't go in A tier. It goes in B. Armageddon was a really good game. Or kind of a good game. I think a lot of people just crap on it because of how lacking it is on content and I don't know I just don't I don't like how people like 
say like it's the worst Mortal Kombat game because there's obviously worse Mortal Kombat games out there. But Armageddon, it it, it was it was supposed to be the final game to the series, and I could see why not a lot of people like it. It does bring back every character from 2D and 3D era, so that's a really cool uh, thing about the game. And the way that it's just presented was really good. The intro was really good. The custom creation, not it's very underappreciated because a lot of people tend to don't like it because of how weird it is, but I think it's a good addition. Should it come back better? It, it should just come back better. Because in Armageddon, it's just some of the wacky designs, and the story is... It's not the best. Uh, but it doesn't bookend the... or come to a close on Mortal Kombat Armageddon, so I'm not really much of a fan of um, the story, but the whole game itself is pretty good. I think there's a lot of content. I played as every character, and there's not really much to it. And what came out first? I'll just go with DC. So Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Oof. It goes in B. Because it's not a revolution. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't, like, refine anything. It just kind of sticks to where it wants to be. But I do appreciate the crossover between DC and Mortal Kombat. I think it's very unique. Maybe even, like, a, more, uh, <laughs> if it might happen, a Mortal Kombat versus DC versus MCU. That would be really cool to see. But um, the story itself is interesting. I'm kind of surprised they put a Mortal Kombat game into a T-rated game. I know a lot of my buddies uh, really like this game. And I don't know, it's just really nice to see a game go really far into the teen rating because a lot of the games we, you know, we weren't supposed to play them because they're blood, violence, gore, just a lot of the other stuff into like the Mortal Kombat games, but I hear a lot of my friends play this game a lot. Mortal Kombat 9 or just Mortal Kombat Complete? I gotta say it was pretty good. It was a nice comeback to the Mortal Kombat series. Um, the only thing that I did like about this game was the implication uh, or the, um, the add-ons to the game. They were really good. Um, surprisingly, most of the characters are really. I mean, they're. I mean, it's 2D characters put in into a different engine. So, when the characters come into a new generation of fighting video games, it's kind of weird, but really interesting, and I really like to see more of that. Um. But again, Mortal Kombat 9, or 2011, I believe, uh, was really good. I had a lot of fun with the tag team mode and just everything else. I really liked it. And the, and the addition to Freddy Krueger was amazing. It's really good. Too bad it was the reboot. Mortal Kombat XL, or just Mortal Kombat X, S tier. Um, I have never seen a fighting video game put me at the edge of my seat more than <laughs> Mortal Kombat X. I've played this the most. I probably stayed up so many nights playing this game. And the combat's just so fluid. When you play something that is so fast, it just gets your adrenaline pumping up. And when you perform combos, it's, it's just... It's just awesome. That's all I have to say. Like, the story was pretty good. I mean, the cast of characters, like the combat kids, were amazing. I think with the addition to the new timeline of Mortal Kombat 9, I think it's an interesting idea. Um, 
even though Mortal Kombat 2011 did do some stuff wrong, I didn't like how they killed off a lot of like the characters. Um, I wanted to see more of the characters. And I don't know. I I just prefer Mortal Kombat 10 over Mortal Kombat 9 in many ways. And the DLC characters are just the horror theme, whoever thought of that must get a promotion on that one. And last but not least, Mortal Kombat 11. Um, it's a very controversial uh, game, only because a lot of people don't like it for the story, um, or the combat, and how it's a little bit slower than Mortal Kombat X. Um, but I mean, it was pretty good. I liked it. The, um, the, like, the game was more open to customization, and, like, customizing your character, uh, move sets, and different ways you want to play. I thought that was amazing. Um, Mortal Kombat X kind of did it better with the variations, and there's only three. Um, I don't know, uh, the Mortal Kombat 11 does get a high praise from me because it, I did play a lot of it, but I didn't play as much as Mortal Kombat X. But I did play as every character, beat every ca character ending. I'll put an A. I mean, if, if, if the game had a, a really good story to, the, to like a lot of these games, I'm glad that Mortal Kombat 9 does come in play and it's kind of like a retold of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, but just not the way that Mortal Kombat intended. Because for the first game, Liu Kang obviously beat uh, Shang Tsung. And Mortal Kombat 2, Liu Kang... Ba basically, Liu Kang... <laughs> um, beat everybody except Deadly Alliance, which is where he stopped, and then he just went on another spree again. I guess, except Armageddon, because uh, Shao Kahn Raiden won. Spoiler alert. <laughs> all in all, like, the story of Mortal Kombat's pretty cool, but... So, that's it for my tier list. Um, feel free to screenshot, you know, post it as an NFT if you want to. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. The video for Armageddon will be in the works for a very long time, because I have a lot to say about it, because it's one of my it's one of the games that i did start off with which is pretty cool so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye